There's something about Ezra. When he talks, and the way that he sounds when he talks, and how animated he is, you almost want to watch it like this. <laughs> What's happening, film nerds? Dave the Film Junkie here. All right, uh, finally commenting on this. Uh, this video started making the rounds two days ago. And uh, I was going to do a short video, but I, nah, I'm going to break it down a little bit. I'll break it down. Holy MC Hammer. Um, <laughs> Ezra Miller was being interviewed, not sure where. Uh, I saw, the. I mean, the, the video that circulated and the one I saw was on Fat Flash Solo Updates, at Flash Solo Updates. Not sure exactly where. He's somewhere um, in an uh, Asian country, that's for sure. Um, promoting, maybe he's promoting Fantastic Beasts. I'm not sure. But uh, they asked him about the Solo Flash movie, and I'm, you know, I think we're all really digging what he had to say here. So let's uh, let's run through this thing here. Let's go. It's getting really good. It's getting really good now. You know, Bar anyone who knows anything about Barry Allen knows that he's a okay. <laughs> Body language doesn't look that good because he's like, ugh, he almost looks like he's hand, hand, But then he starts really talking and everything like that. But because sometimes you just got to wonder what the fuck really is going on behind the scenes. You know, a lot of these actors, of course, they have to a answer these questions. Um, I would like to say that Ezra is being totally truthful, but, you know, you just sometimes it's like that first reaction, you kind of go, oh, why are you rubbing your eyes, man? Anyways. Late. Yeah. He's always but late. when he arrives... He gets stuff done. Yeah. And uh, that's definitely how this film's production schedule is proceeding. <laughs> we're late, but we're really, you know, the reason why we're late, and this is the, the, the honest to God truth, is the reason why we're late. It's like the back of his head shaved right here. You notice that? It's like, it doesn't seem like he, it's like buzzed right here. That has nothing to do with what we're talking about here. Is because we're all, and I include myself in this, we are very meticulously focused on making a movie that's not just like one of the greatest superhero movies that we can possibly make this movie is also going to be a gift to the fans you know this movie yes right there you send a shiver down my spine all the way down my ass crack out of my taint there ezra this movie is going to be a real pure offering to the fans of this material and we've hit a couple points in the script's development. Points or roadblocks? We've looked at it and gone, mm, this isn't it, this isn't it yet. Roadblocks. It has to be, and you know, we're, we're really, we're starting about, we're talking about sparking a whole new universe, which is, it's not just the DC multiverse, it's also, it's the speedster multiverse. There we go. And this is what I really wanted to focus on here because, okay, so Warner Brothers, DC, they try to do the Marvel thing, the shared universe. Cool. It worked with Batman or Superman. It worked with, you know, having little Easter eggs in Wonder Woman, Suicide Squad. <laughs> and then, of course, when they finally brought everybody together, <laughs> it could have worked, but, you know, whatever. Um, now it seems like if they're going to focus just specifically on the characters and they're building their worlds, I mean... He's saying it right here, multiverse, you know, the speedster verse, you know, basically, you know, um, if Matt Reeves hopefully is going to make, you know, focus on the Bat family and the Bat first, hey, focus on here. You can have a trilogy full <laughs> of speedsters and everything. I mean, there's so much you could do here. I mean, obviously they're doing a lot of it on the, the Flash TV show, but you could really just mm, do it here. Carry on. Oop. And the speedsters are the ones who connect all of the disparate pieces of it. Because Marvel is a universe, right? It's just one world and all the same characters in it. DC is a multiverse. All these different stories with different realities, different characters and versions of characters. And the speedsters are the ones who move through it all. They're like the, the connecting bridge. bridge between all these different collaged parts. And so I'm really delighted at how focused... Um, everyone is on getting it just right and I'm really devoted to that as well and I honestly like we won't make the film unless it's going to be this consummate 
beautiful offering to yes. this to the fans and to everybody. I mean, we're just gonna make a fantastic movie, but we're really focused on making it this like super gift to DC fans. Thank you, the fans are Ha! Ha! Now, I saw a lot of people commenting on this video saying like, oh, I'm worried because it's similar to how Ben Affleck was talking about his Batman script a while back that he wanted to get something just right. And yeah, I could totally see that because, uh, well, I mean, you got to look at it like this. I mean, Ezra Miller, yeah, he's, you know, he's very, uh, he's all about his craft, you know. He's a, he's a great actor. He wants to uh, keep playing this character. He wants to give us the best movie possible. But when it come to, came to Affleck, Affleck was writing the fucking thing. He was going to direct, produce, star in the fucking thing. It was going to be his baby. So it's not exactly the same. But I can see why people have concerns. I really do. I do. I, I could see that. But um, I like what he has to say here. And yeah, I mean, it, it, I, I, as much as I want to be as optimistic, optimistic as possible, you know, you just kind of go, well, fucking hey, man, we haven't heard shit. I mean, the last big news we heard was, you know, the two guys from uh, Game Night gonna do it. And yeah, he is promoting Fantastic Beasts, obviously, because the poster behind the, the, the girl right here, like, it was that. Anyways, um, yeah, and I know there's a lot of uh, scheduling conflicts with Fantastic Beasts, the sequels and stuff, so I don't know. It's very up in the air. Um, I love what he has to say here. And, I mean, they do have a challenge. As much as people, I know people are like, fuck, fuck the CW show. It fucking sucks. It's garbage. Yeah, okay, but there's still a lot of people that like it. I, just because you don't like it, you know, doesn't mean that it's a hit. And it, It's been a hit for a bit. I'm sure it's died down a little bit. I mean, I've even lost interest. I mean, eventually I'm going to catch up because I love the character. And, and yes, it's not, the, it's not comic book accurate, but neither is he. He's got dark hair. But I'm just hoping that with what they're trying to create here is something unique and special, like he's trying to say, a gift to the fans as well as something that everybody can enjoy. And it's got to be, you know, it's got to take it's it's got to be separate from the CW show. It really does. I mean, obviously, the show has so many episodes, so many storylines that it could tap into that the multiverse and all the speedsters and everything, and the bad guys, the bad guy speedsters and everything. So it, it, it's a challenge. It definitely is a challenge, which I think is one of the reasons why it's being delayed so much, because it's definitely a challenge. But the fact when they finally land on something, it finally gets announced, it finally goes into production, I think we're going to be up for something special. And hopefully we're going to see some amazing shit that we are promised in Justice League! Sorry. I just keep remembering the Iris rescuing scene and pushing the glass and just... Uh, I mean... Ah. Uh, but even some of the shots that we did see, like, for instance, when he's, you know, he bumps Wonder Woman's uh, sword. I mean, stuff like that, which is absolutely gorgeous. They can really do some gorgeous things. Um, you know, obviously, they don't want to rip off too much from, you know, X-Men and uh, um, Quicksilver. And, uh, yeah, I don't think they really have to worry about what they Joel trying to... But the X-Men movies, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Can't really uh, do, you know, I mean, obviously there's going to be some similarities and people are going to compare. That's always the way it is. But I like what he has to say here, guys. Um, hopefully we get some kind of announcement soon about a start date, about a script already, you know, and finally fully greenlit. We'll see what happens. Let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think about what he said right here? Hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. Visit filmjunkie.com for all my content. And, of course, visit the closet for shirts and stickers and follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All right, guys? I'll talk to you later.